Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite girl Moyo Babalala back here again. And today, you know, you know how we addition it, you know how we give it, you know how we do it, you know how we bring it. Feeling good. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. Anyways, if you don't know what we're doing today, we are going to be talking. I'm going to be talking about some stuff that people have been bringing up to me. I'm going to be giving some advice. I'm going to be talking. We're going to be talking about stuff that you know people don't normally talk about. But I'm going to dish it out here today. Content you don't see anywhere else except from here. So stay tuned and let's just get right into the video. Okay. First off, we're going to start off with something really, you know, self-esteem. So, what is self-esteem? I know people are going to be like, oh, she's talking so boring now. What's she saying? But, like, you guys should just chill and listen because things are actually happening. And I can't just be here and not try and talk about stuff like that. You carry on. What you think about yourself. And there are two types of self-esteem. There's high self-esteem and there's low self-esteem. And I, I was somebody that experienced low self-esteem. I was very I was very shy and had really low self-esteem and it really made me feel like I wasn't enough. When I first moved from Abuja to Lagos, I felt really, really low. My self esteem my self-esteem dropped. Because I was I was scared that okay, the people in my new school they like me, would they not like me? Would they think I'm weird? Would they not talk to me? Maybe I'm not as good as them because I'm not I can't relate to their stories and their issues and everything come home. I didn't know how to express myself very well. But then I realized that you are special because you are special. And there's only one of you. That sounds really cliche and I'm dropping out some positive quotes here, but there's only one of you. You are you because you are you. So if you're struggling with low self-esteem, come on, get up. You are better than this. You are everything and everybody doesn't everybody's not like you you are not like everybody nobody can be like you and you can't be like anybody you'll be fine another thing i want to bring to the table is anxiety so many many of us many of us have anxiety yeah even me i have serious anxiety but like i feel like many of teenagers right today go through anxiety chill calm down chillax I have serious anxiety, so I don't think I'm supposed to be giving you guys this advice, but so yeah, just chill out because you know, at the end of the day, this is how life is. So you just have to calm down, relax, just meditate, and just like, whoo, take a deep breath because you will need it. Drink some water, clear your head. If you are feeling serious anxiety, just clear your head. It's, it always works. It, Another thing I want to talk about is insecurity. So this one is very big because a lot of people are insecure about everything. Okay, when I say insecure, I mean like you are not confident of something. You are very you're scared of you're scared of that thing coming out. You are not like well the most the word I can relate it to is confident. You're not confident of something. You're scared of something not being able to. You get the point, Shaq? Because I'm already saying nonsense. Um. I can't really see there's a particular way to do with your insecurities because a lot of people have a lot of different insecurities they're going through. But when I'm insecure, I'd like to think that, okay, I'm insecure for this moment. Okay, for instance now, there was this day I was going out. Story time, story time, story time. There was this day I was going out. And then I wore this dress. Throughout the whole day, I felt very insecure. I felt like, okay, what if people are looking at me? What if people think I'm, I look weird? Let's chill out. And at the end of the day, people came up to me to me and they were like, Oh, I like your dress. Your dress is very fine. Oh, it fits you. Oh my God, I like your dress. Oh my God, I like your dress. And then I was like, Oh, wow. Your weakest point can be other people's biggest point to you, to, to them. Things that you think that, okay, that's my weakest link. Can be somebody else's strongest link. To everybody watching, you are confident, you are strong, you are beautiful, you are handsome. You don't need anybody to tell you that. You are the best. And I'm telling you this, if you are not supposed to be the best, you will not be here. You are right here because you have a reason and you have a purpose. Pressure. The last thing I want to talk about is peer pressure. Wow, peer pressure. So, I think last Sunday, somebody said something in my church. And he was like, he was like, I don't think there's anything like peer pressure. There's just pressure. Do you get? Most of us, most of the people around my age bracket are going through this thing. And they are pressurized every day by different factors okay first of all your parents your parents always want you to okay yeah bring it we're paying your school fees 
But why are you not having a? You are supposed to be having a. You are supposed to be doing this. I don't believe in the word dumb. I don't believe in the. Nobody is dumb. Nobody is not, not, not smart. Everybody is intelligent. I believe every single person is intelligent. But I just feel like people that they they term smarter or more intelligent just know how to utilize their intelligence. Do you understand? Word, word, sis, word. Anyway, they have something they can bring to the table and everything. So I feel like we should try and just work hard. You know, something. So my friend told me something that you can never satisfy African parents. Can do it for yourself. Don't do it for them. Do you know there's this thing that you do? Like if you know that, okay, I did well in that thing and I tried. No matter anybody that criticizes you for that thing, you your mind. You're going to be like, yeah. I put my A game that and I'm happy with the result. Do you understand? Like you just have this sense of like, yeah, you know what? Whatever. I really tried and I'm gonna I'm really happy about that fact. Do you get? The pressure from your parents is not really that much anymore because you know that you put in all your best and everything's fine. Okay, another pressure I want to talk about is pressure from your friends. Yeah, this is what people think is peer pressure. Everybody nowadays is they act in a certain way because of the people they you know how they say like minds only swim together like minds only swim together you get so it's just it's just good to say that if you have friends that don't it all depends on you i feel like it all depends on you you are you so if you are changing yourself because of your friends that's not a good move i feel like it depends on who you are if you are Someone that has a strong personality like me now. <laughs> I have an extremely strong personality. And I feel like people are influenced by me. Not me being influenced by anybody. So if you're the kind of person like me. Who has a very strong personality. It's going to be really hard for you to be influenced by anybody. Because your mind's already made up. You know what you be, You know your beliefs. You know what you believe in. You know what you stand for. And then nothing, nothing will change that. People that don't even have personal pers They don't have personalities. They live off their friendships. They live off their friends personalities like as in they don't even have their own personality they are just living through their friend their friend is whatever their friend does they do it whatever their friend goes they do it. they don't have their own personality it goes to the it gets to the point that they don't even know your name again they're just calling you oh that person's friend do you understand like that person's friend oh is that not that person's friend you like that kind of thing so live on your own live you have everything to offer don't be pressurized by anybody to do what you don't want to do but as your friend that's going to make you do something that is against you and that person knows that you don't do that and it's against you and they are making you forcing you to do that thing it's not your friend at all at all so that whole um pressurized by friends peer pressure thing is just a facade to me I feel like it's all about you. If you want to do it, you're gonna do it. If you don't want to do it, you're not going to do it. If you if, if the thing didn't catch your eye before, you won't do it. You know where to draw the line with your friendships. Know exactly know where to draw the line with your friendship. I've learned that a lot. Know where to draw the line with your friendships. Live by your own rules. Do you know just do it. Have fun. Be yourself. Don't live for anybody. Anyway, guys, that's the end of my video. Basically, that's the end of my video. I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry. It was a bit short. I hope it was short. I don't know. But I'm I'm sorry it was short. I wanna be an inspirational speaker. So yeah. <laughs> Give this big video a big thumbs up. Not this, this, and comment share tell all your friends to watch this video come on give that just and if you're here and you're not subscribed man what you doing here man why are you not subscribed man subscribe right now hit that subscribe button right there when i go back to school i want to try and post like more videos you know because when i i mean i get back to school i'm not gonna be so you know video 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 anyway guys that's the end of my video i'll see you guys in the next video without further ado bye